Flareo client has been updated to Minecraft Bedrock Edition 1.21.100. For the ones of you who don't know, Flareo client is a very good, legit PvP client for Minecraft Bedrock Edition. Sometimes they're a little slower with the updates, but uh, actually, they're, all, they're always pretty quick. I mix it up with Latige. Flareal is really fast with the updates. They're goaded. They're open source. Don't call it a virus in the comments. They're open source. Look. Look at it. Look. Uh, yeah, Flareo client is open source. It's a massive plus of this client, actually. Um, anyways, their official website, flareal.xyz, will be linked down in the comments below. Here we can simply... In, in the description below. Um, and here we can simply click on this red download button and your download will start automatically. Here as you can see my downloads, I've got the Flareo launcher and it's as easy as double clicking on this and whoa, we've got Flareo client. As you can see, it's gonna display your current Minecraft version here, which for me is 1.21.100. You can log in if you like, but you definitely don't have to to use this. Uh, you can join the Discord if you want. Uh, that there you can also visit these settings customize some things flareal actually also works as um a like downgrader so like you can change minecraft versions with flareal as well i've never actually covered that before um also i'm going to enable beta dll which will give me access to the beta version of flareal v2 which is cool if you want to use flareal to inject a custom dll into minecraft you can do that here you can find a path and then do that if you'd like. Anyways, I'm just going to be using Flareal V2 for this uh, video and then we can click on this red launch button and that is actually going to automatically open up Minecraft Bedrock Edition with Flareal client injected for you. And you'll know it worked correctly if you see this little um, notification here in the bottom of your screen. So as I said, Flareal is a legit PvP client which means that it doesn't have any hacks. Um, which Honestly, if that's the client type of client you're looking for, you're a good person, and Flareal is an amazing client for that. So they've actually updated, well, because the beta DLL, because, because the Flareal V2 beta DLL is a beta DLL, if you use that irregularly, you'll notice some pretty consistent updates every single time. So that's cool. Anyways, I've been scrolling for like 10 seconds now and it's still not, wow, Flareal is just a good client to be honest. Uh, anyways, as I said, K to open up and close this area. We can click on these utilities to turn them on, click on them once again to turn them off like that. It's really self-explanatory, really easy to use. You can hover above these and that will give you the option to favorite them. Just like that, beautiful. And if you hover above the other area and let it load in, hello, you just saw it for like a, a peak a second. There we go, we get a description of exactly what this utility uh, allows us to do. If you click on this cog over here, you can visit the very bad example. If you click on this cog over here, you can visit the customization menu for this specific utility. Some utilities have more customization than others, I guess. Anyways, some cool things about the beta is that about the v2 beta is that they have this new scripting area over here which is nice uh, anyways some of these utilities are going to be things that actually show up on your screen like the cps counter it's going to count my clicks per second um anyways kind of an awkward location and so to change that we can head on into the click gui click on this pencil button and then we can actually move this around over here put it wherever you want maybe i want to keep it down there uh, pretty good uh yeah okay I'll, I'll i'll keep it there um in the customization menu for this you can customize like the entire way that it looks so mess around with that flareo client is incredibly good anyways they've recently introduced the f3 screen i mean this is Flare flareo man why i should have picked up on this earlier to be honest um but as you can see, by default, enabled is going to be the Java debug menu. Um, and I was honestly thinking of making a, a separate video on this. Let me know what you guys uh, think. Maybe if we get like a, a dry period <laughs> that I will do this. But look, you can simply press on the F3 button on your screen. If you're on a laptop, it's often FNF3. Um, 
you'll know what to press. Anyways, we can view all of our information. I'm apparently running 240 FPS. Jeez. Uh, so, I mean, we, we got these coordinates. We got the weather. Uh, we've got our speed. I mean, obviously, bedrock condition is a lot more limited in terms of, like, stuff it can do that makes it sound like i have a low vocabulary trust me i do not <laughs> um okay but basically um uh, even with those limitations flareal makes this like so incredibly well and can i just say that this looks wrong button incredibly clean too they even have the, the, the crosshair like this like this looks really clean i uh, props to flareal for that Go check them out. Go to client. Um, they even have commands, actually. Uh, so we can type that help in the chat over here. It's going to give you a list of all the commands with, well, their description of exactly what they do. If you don't know how to use one, then simply just type the command into the chat and you'll get the exact usage. I mean, guys, it's literally that easy. Um, anyways, for right now, thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you all again in the next one. Bye-bye.